Who is that one person that has changed your life? If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick my mom for making me who I am while she was alive and for making me who I am since she's passed because I feel like so many of the things that have made my life beautiful are things that I did trying to feel closer to my mom. I used to think that when we lost people, it meant our relationship with them stopped growing. But since I lost my mom, I, I've realized how much my relationship with her has changed and has grown and has developed even without her because you know, I knew who she was and I, I knew what it felt like to be with her. And as I change and as I grow, I can almost see her, I can see myself from her perspective still. So many of our favorite parts of ourselves happen when we're trying to be closer to our favorite people. And I feel closer to my mom when I'm doing what I want to tell her about. And I do a lot of things because I'd want to tell her about it. So I saw this clip and I know that you've spoken a bit about people and their relationship with their lost loved ones and that it can continue actually after they they they, they pass and i wondered if you could just talk a bit about that because he seemed to be experiencing that i would love to meet him that is very intuitive it's very correct and it's already been said by king Solomon, the wisest of all men. It's pretty impressive that he came up with the same idea. <laughs> King Solomon says, I praise the dead who are already dead. Why? They have a greater effect on their children than they had while they were alive. It's so true. While the parents are alive, you have all sorts of complaints. As soon as they pass away, it's like, what do you think mom would want? What, 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 what did she stand for? What was her life about? I said, oh, welcome. You finally woke up. It's true. We, th we see our parents in a very noble light when the petty physical frictions are gone parents have a very powerful effect on their children parents who couldn't get their kid to go to synagogue not once during their entire life but to say kaddish a yisker a yard site oh that's sacred it's true. I wish it weren't, but it's true. So what is the basic principle in terms of how one, when someone, you know, uh, God forbid that should happen to people, but if and when it does, they lose someone close to them. Um, how should they conceive of their relationship with their lost loved one? And how, and how can post-death communication work? I think he, he, he said, uh, I do the right thing knowing that my parent, my mother would approve or would enjoy. It's actually true. The mother is approving. Not she would, theoretically, she is. Because she's still his mother. And mothers get a lot of pleasure when their children do well. You mean from, from heaven? Yes. The mother still exists and exists as his mother. So when he does something right, it gives her pleasure. Not it would give her pleasure if she was here. And it works both ways, by the way. Why does he feel like he should do the right thing? Because in some way, his mother is pushing him to do it. She 
she is mothering. And you think mothers, you sense... mothers don't quit. Mm. That's a real helicopter mom. 